CTP air compressors are designed to provide cleaner air, greater reliability, less vibration, and quieter operation. Today we are going to discuss the steps required to overhaul an air compressor unit using a CTP compressor overhaul kit. First, we unfasten the bolts that hold down the cylinder head in order to remove it from the compressor. Then remove the gasket. Next, remove the governor unit. Turn the compressor upside down to unfasten the bolts that hold down the crankcase cover. Remove the cover and gasket. Once the crankcase is removed, we have access to remove the connecting rods and pistons. After removing the connecting rod bolts, we gently tap out the pistons with a soft mallet, not to damage the connecting rods. Make sure each connecting rod cap stays with the corresponding connecting rod. These are a matched set and are not interchangeable. Next, remove the rear cover. Continue by sliding out the crankshaft. Now we proceed to remove the front cover. Once the bolts are removed, use a soft mallet to tap out the front cover. And finally, we remove the valve components from the bottom casing. To remove the valves, we blow compressed air into the governor inlet port. This should easily pop out the valves from their bores. Clean and inspect all the compressor parts. Also check for damaged parts, cracks, and unusual wear prior to reassembly. This repair kit comes complete with pistons and rings, complete bolt kit, front and rear crank bearings, thrust bearings, complete valve assembly kit, gaskets, and assembly lube. Visually inspect the front cover for excessive wear, marring, or gouging. Mount cover on a vise, and with a bushing driver, remove the front cover crankshaft bearing. Install the new bearing with a bushing driver. Make sure that the oil holes in the bearing line up with the oil feed holes in the cover. Replace the thrust bearing on the inside of the front cover. Apply some assembly lube on the crankshaft and slide the crank into the compressor and inside the front housing bearing. Next, reinstall the rear cover onto the compressor body using new bolts supplied in the rebuild kit. Torque the front cover and rear cover bolts to the recommended manufacturer's specification. Install the piston rings and assemble the new pistons onto the rods with new piston pins and retainers. Using a quality ring compressor, apply plenty of oil on the piston and rings and compress the rings on the workbench. Begin by inserting the piston inside the cylinder bore. Then, with a soft mallet, tap the piston inside the cylinder until the rings are inside and continue tapping the piston until it reaches the connecting rod. It is easier to line up the connecting rods if the block assembly is laid horizontally to the two cylinders. Follow the same procedure for the second piston. Replace the valve assemblies in the compressor body and the valves in the cylinder head. Place the cylinder head on the bench deck side up and insert the valve removal tool into the inlet valve stop and unscrew and remove the inlet valve stop. Remove the inlet valve spring. Reassemble with new parts included in the kit. Install the two valve retaining springs. A little bit of grease will keep these from falling out when turning the head assembly over. Finally, we put the cylinder head gasket on the block and install the cylinder head with the new bolts supplied in the kit. Torque the head bolts to the recommended manufacturer's specification. We finish by putting the governor back on to the air compressor. You could choose to use the old governor However, it needs to be tested during initial operation. If the governor is not working properly, then it must be replaced. Governor units are fairly inexpensive, 
and this is a good time to replace with a new CTP governor unit. The air compressor is now completely repaired with our CTP repair kit.